and welcome to West Anime Sims. My name is Kelvin, and how are you doing? We are back with another speed build this time around, going around the world with the Sims 2 stops at England or UK because we're going to build a English style semi detached house. Now, if you watch this video and you like what you see, please give it a like. And subscribe to West Anime Sims for more updates on Retro Sims content. Now we are going to 2,000 subscribers this by the end of the year. Hopefully, we'll reach it sooner than later. So, yeah, if you like it very my content, so give it a subscribe, and it will really support this channel and let people know about. Oh, all seems the wonderful world of the retro simming. Now, a semi detached house is often abbreviated to a semi. It's a single family duplex house that shares one common wall with the next house. So it's basically two single house has been connected to each other into one big building. Different from detached houses, which is a single unit, or terrace houses, which share the wall with two sides, look more, almost like a townhouse. So, usually, the semi detached houses are built in pairs and always have a mirror image of each other, which is what exactly I'm doing. It is very symmetrical in both sides, the layouts are the same, with one living room, kitchen area, and a bedroom and bathroom at the back. As well, I'm going to do actually a 4 unit apartment block with a duplex style. So upstairs there are 2 more units with the same layout and instead of 2 single family houses of a duplex. So this house is definitely going to be a bit more challenging especially the roofing. I think the, the whole layout is a little bit boxy but I don't really mind so as much as well as making it very distinctively British which is a bit, quite a bit of a challenging style to tackle because I think English style or British style architecture is a little bit common and you can see it not only just in UK in everywhere else around the world because I think of the colonialism and the spread of their influence around the world so you can actually see it, this architecture not only in England itself but also in many other parts of the country. So what I'm trying to do is having the lake outside having a very brownstone brick wall with coining around it to make it very distinctively very old English style and the, the stairwell in the middle once you enter the, the main entrance and it leads to the separate houses and upstairs goes the, the stairs leads up to the second unit upstairs so it's pretty much the same for both sides so I'm thinking of trying to distinguish the style of each of the houses but I have no idea what how to do it in the beginning so it kind of the style kind of develops 
as I build along. But I have a strong feeling I want to make an old style in traditional style in one of the units. So eventually I going to make it into one side of the unit will have an old English style up uh, interior design the other side will be a little bit more modern so, so it's more like a sharing two halves of the same house and I'm going to figure out and I'm going to figure out on the styles for the kitchen and the wallpaper suitable wallpaper to make it look nice i don't want to make it look posh and rich because mainly this semi-detached house is very common for rural and urban working classes so it's really uh, and it's going to meant to be really small so it's meant for only maximum of two sims per unit three if you want to squeeze it really Hard for starter families so it's a good option for new families to move in to this lot so it looks more like a tenement block more rather than a more posh living space so the first you need to be a bit more old traditional couple living downstairs with the most retro looking TV and stereo and their units uh, and their bedrooms a little bit old and I'm thinking of all the houses have a closet so that each of none of them have dress need to have a dresser to save a little bit of space and on the other side I'm thinking of opposite of the traditional house would be a more of a frat house <laughs> so it's more like sporty has exercise equipment really messy house but with a little bit touch of a modern style more like more like a bloke kind of a house upstairs of the traditional house is also very old school thinking of very country style so like an old couple or even a grandma living there with grandfather clocks and also a sewing machine as a hobby for the elderly couple living upstairs and on the last lot on on the first floor will be a starter family with a baby couple with a baby so we have a lot of baby to toys and items in that lot so it is quite a challenge to try to make this house look functional and let and the same time looks more lived in. So I want to make it look really full and homely for every lot to look really nice. So it don't look really sparse. I'm lately I'm kind of lazy trying to make uh, everything try to make it more full and packed. But now because I'm don't feel like decorating thing a lot and it's taking up a lot of time to put everything nicely in and put a lot of clutter to make it the lot look full and it really jack up the price but it doesn't really matter about the price anyway but I do think I need to make it look more pleasing it, at the same time not to make it too complicated or full
As for landscaping, I'm thinking a little bit more on the urban side with a planter box area. I did a little bit of a brick, low brick wall, a fence around the front part of the porch, leading to a sidewalk. And I'm thinking of making an iron fence around it, but I'm thinking maybe we should try to make it a little bit different. This time, to make it uh, so I have an iron fence leading to the planter box so the landlord can maintain the front plant uh, the plants in front. As as well at the back I have a brick wall surrounding the backyard so as a common area so I have like a basketball court and also a playground for Sims to hang out and have fun at the back of the house.
Okay, that's pretty much what I want to explain about this semi-detached house, British style. What do you guys think? Please give me a comment and don't forget to like, share and subscribe to West Anime Sims for more updates on retro sims content. The screenshots after editing off camera as well as the link to download will be down under the description and also the so my social media pages, Instagram and Tumblr. Please do give these social media channels a follow. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye!